Hey everyone, today I will be teaching you everything you need to know about animation cancelling in Dota 2. Animation cancelling is a simple but effective skill that helps you do more damage in a shorter amount of time, which can be crucial for helping you secure a kill that you might otherwise not get. If you are in the lower ranks, this skill will certainly help you out and you should see some MMR gains if you practice and do this correctly. In the higher skill levels, you absolutely must use animation cancelling to keep up with the pace of the game, so watch closely as I guide you through. Okay, so first up, what is this animation cancelling thingo that I'm talking about? Well, whenever a hero casts a spell or attacks, there is an animation that plays from start to finish, and which typically consists of two parts, the cast point or attack point and the backswing. The cast point relates to spell usage, while the attack point refers to your normal auto attack. Now, the first part of the animation is referred to as the cast point or attack point, and is basically all of the animation up until the spell is actually cast, or the attack has been launched. You can also think of this as the delay before your spell has cast or attack has been thrown. For spells, Dota has a visual indicator which is sort of like a countdown to when the cast point has been reached and mana is consumed. As you cast, you can see the green quickly fill up the spell you use, and once it is full, you've reached the cast point. Now, for melee heroes, the attack point is as soon as the attack lands on the enemy and the damage has been done. However, for ranged heroes, it is as soon as your projectile is launched. As soon as you've reached the cast point or attack point, the backswing begins and this part can typically be cancelled as it no longer has any useful effect in the game. It just slows you down. Backswing is basically a nice animation that plays to polish the gameplay, but other than looking good, it does nothing for your gameplay. Every single hero and spell in the game have different attack animations or cast animations, and as a result, the time of the animations differ. Some have very quick animations, while others can be very slow, so it is worth learning to cancel the animation with different heroes in order to maximise your effectiveness. Now, you're probably thinking, how on earth do I do this wonderful animation cancelling? Senpai, please teach. Well, it's actually very simple to do, but since there are so many different heroes and abilities in the game, it will take some practice to get it right. I know that I sometimes accidentally cancel the animation too early, before I reach the attack point and this sucks because I might miss the last hit, or do less damage to the enemy than I could. Okay, so to do this, you want to cast your spell, and then as soon as the cast point is reached, press your stop key to cancel the backswing part of the animation. Another way to animation cancel instead of pressing your stop key, is to issue another command immediately after the cast point or attack point has been reached. For example, right clicking to move your hero, which brings me nicely to the first of the three reasons why you may want to animation cancel. The first reason for animation cancelling is so that you can get more attacks in while the enemy is running away. This is done by what is called attack moving, which is essentially the art of attacking the enemy and animation cancelling the backswing by moving closer to your enemy so that you can maintain the distance to them and attack them again. It's actually quite simple to do, but it involves learning the attack point of each hero in order to do it correctly. You will see this all the time in high level Dota, as it is critical to deal more damage and kill enemies. Let's take Lich for example. He has a reasonable animation, but it has a bit of backswing which will reduce the number of attacks you can get in when the enemy is running away. What you want to do is attack the enemy and then move towards the enemy as soon as the projectile is launched. Here's a comparison of the number of attacks you can get in 5 seconds, starting with a full animation. Now let's see that with animation cancelling. Although it is not a lot extra, it definitely adds up throughout a match, and can mean the difference between securing a kill or letting them get away. The biggest factor here is the difference in movement speeds between yourself and your enemy, and you can get more and more attacks in if you are faster. Certain heroes like Ogre Magi sometimes like to pick up an Orb of Venom in the early game, as this, combined with his Ignite ability, can slow an enemy quite a lot, and allow you to chase the enemy down while attack moving and dealing huge damage. The second time you want to animation cancel, is immediately after casting a spell, in order to quickly cast another spell, or again to quickly move and close the gap to the enemy to keep chasing and attacking them. This time, let's look at Crystal Maiden. Both her Crystal Nova and Frostbite abilities have animations that take 0.9 seconds, but the cast point is just 0.3 seconds in, which means that 0.6 seconds of both of these abilities are backswing, which can be cancelled and another action given. 
Here you can see the comparison. Firstly, I cast Frostbite on Lion and immediately cast Crystal Nova before the Frostbite cast point was reached. You can see that it waits until the full animation is over before casting the Crystal Nova. This time, I wait until the Frostbite lands and then cast the Nova while also moving towards the Lion between attacks, maximising the damage I can deal before Lion gets away. Your spell backswing is easily cancelled by moving as you can pretty much start casting the spell and then spam right click as your right clicks won't cancel the cast command but will cancel the backswing animation. And finally, the last reason to animation cancel is to trick the enemy into thinking you are going to cast a spell but actually cancelling the spell before the cast point is reached. This one is very useful, especially at the higher ranks, to bait out a spell or item usage from the enemy or to cancel a spell that you might otherwise miss. Let's look at Leshrac for this one. Leshrac's Split Earth ability has a long cast point making it very obvious to see when he is going to throw this stun at someone and thus making it easy to dodge. Now if you go to stun and you press your stop or hold key before the stun actually casts, the animation is cancelled and no mana is consumed and the ability doesn't go on cooldown. This can be used in a variety of ways and will come down to your imagination. For example, you might want to try to trick an enemy carry into using their BKB and then avoid the fight. Or perhaps you are playing Earthshaker but you think that the fissure you've just started casting might miss, so you can actually press your stop key to cancel it and then recast a better one. Or maybe you're a mid or carry hero going for a last hit but need to bait the enemy into attacking first, so try animation cancel your attack before it lands to trick the enemy into attacking themselves. This won't always work, but sometimes mind games like these can work in your favour, so it's worth giving it a try. That's it for animation cancelling. Make sure to practice this one with different heroes, as they are all very different and take a while to master. I hope you've found this video helpful, and hopefully your MMR and skill level will improve from it as well. As a content creator, I really want these videos to make a difference to your gameplay, and if you get something out of it, I'd love if you could give me a like or comment, as this will help me out, and I can make some more awesome videos for you guys. Of course, if you want more like this, subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss a video when I upload. Also, if you've got any new friends or grandmas out there who want to get good, make sure you share the video with them too. Awesome guys, I'm Defied and happy gaming!